what's better than heading out on the yak and wetting a line? Doing it with your family, of course. G'day everybody, this is Paz, and in this week's episode, I go squidding. While that in itself isn't unusual, this time I have Jay along for the ride. This isn't the first time he's joined me on the water, but this time is special. We're hopping on the bus, our massive tandem kayak, and heading out to Frio to try our luck. Jay's never caught a squid before, so we're out to change that. Let's go. It was a relatively chilly morning as we arrived at Frio. We were originally going to hit Woodman Point as it's more sheltered and safer for a first time squitter. The beautiful conditions let us launch from Frio to go after the bigger squid. Jay was bouncing with excitement and it wasn't long before we were rigged up and ready to go. As a change of pace, I'll let Jay take over for the launch. It was exciting, we launched off the beach Dad pushed the kayak out, hopped in and off we went. I held the light and tried to find weed patches underwater because that's where the squid are. As I set up a drift over our first weed bank, we got right down to it. Jay has a shorter rod with a 2.5 white Shimano flash jig on it, while mine is my usual yellow version. Both are proven squid catchers, and the plan was to let Jay reel in the first one, no matter who hooked up. As we watched the sunrise, a rod went off. It was awesome! It was my first squid off the kite. It was pulling really hard but it felt different than a fish. I held it steady while Dad got the net. With the squid on our first drift ticked off, we reset. As Jay practiced his retrieval technique, our next customer slammed his jig. I was giving my rod a flip, then suddenly a squid grabbed it. It pulled the same as the last one, but it felt bigger. It was my first big squid! As an aside, it's always good to have an extra jig in the water when you know an area is holding squid. It's called a sleeper jig. In my previous squid video, I used the same technique from the Hobie with great results. Check out the vid here. While my squid made its escape, Jay's would prove to be the biggest of the day. While no winter monster, it had a pretty decent weight to it. Another squid was hanging around. It grabbed the jig, but Dad had to wait to set the hooks. Oh, I love this stuff. It's so good to watch your kid's reaction to all the little things. It's almost like you're experiencing that feeling for the first time as well. It's magic, and it's the reason we got the bus. 
with that wee bank seemingly exhausted, we made the decision to troll north for a bit. While the bus isn't exactly agile, it still moves through the water fairly quickly, with Jay manning the rod dutifully. However, it wasn't until we stopped that the jig was hunted down. Just missed me. It was hooked by one tentacle. We floated around for 45 minutes or so with me answering Jay's million and one questions about Frio, the ocean, and a few things I had no idea on myself. With the golden bite time now over, I decided to switch a jig out to a metallic red one, in the hope of enticing a strike due to the contrast of the red jig with the increased light. We paddled to a different weed bank, hoping to drift back to our start point before heading in. Another squid! And the other rod hooked out while we got it in the net. Again, that sleeper jig proves a hit, as does the red colour. With our time running short, we began to pack up. Still, Always time for a last car special. And then Dad got inked by the squid I caught. It was hilarious. It's good to know that through it all, my misfortune remains a subject of comedy for my children. Still, as I reminded Jay, sooner or later, Everybody gets inked. We headed back to shore, so Jay could show off his catch to anyone who cared to look. In under two hours, we caught seven squid and some priceless memories. It was fun just paddling around, fishing with my dad and catching squid.
Jay's already planning his next fishing goal. I want to catch a trout. Stay tuned as this kid's going places. If you want to see more, please like, hook up that subscribe button and comment below. I greatly appreciate the support as we head towards our goal of 1,000. As always, this channel remains dedicated to my two sons. This is Paz and Jay wishing you fair winds and tight lines. See you next time.